There's been a lot of speculation about McGregor's fight with Mayweather, but most are predicting that Conor will tire himself out after 4 or 5 rounds, and Floyd will coast to an easy win. And while that may be how it plays out, if one thing rings true, it's that anything can happen in a fight. In fact, there are a number of factors that point to the idea that McGregor can force Mayweather to stand and fight toe-to-toe. -to -toe. There have been several fights where people say that Mayweather's opponents could have won if they hadn't foolishly tired themselves out. But the truth of the matter is that these boxing champions are not managing their energy poorly. Mayweather is forcing them to work incredibly hard. He does this by playing with distance, tricking them into overreaching, and by tying them up in the clinch. But McGregor has been grappling for years, and he's made a career out of overreaching, even by MMA standards. This leaves Floyd's jab as McGregor's greatest obstacle, and Floyd does have an incredible variety of effective jabs. But even if McGregor can't find a way around them, he has a good enough chin to eat some shots on the way in for a good duration of the fight. What this means is that we could very well have a fight of epic proportions to look forward to. So, let's stay within the realms of reality, but let ourselves get a little bit hyped and look at some of the more plausible ways that either fighter could knock the other out. The most likely place for McGregor to knock out Mayweather would be when Mayweather is escaping the corner. Mayweather has practically made escaping the corner into a science, letting his opponent punch out air and then smoothly pivoting out. Conversely, McGregor's go-to strategy is to drive his opponents to the cage and then catch them as they try to escape. Judging by the footage McGregor released, he seems to want to trap Mayweather and rough him up. If he can hold or lean on Mayweather and slow him down just a little as he tries to escape, he may be able to land with a powerful blow. This was part of the strategy Castillo used in his fight with Floyd, and he was able to repeatedly drive him to the corner and keep him there. When Mayweather tried to duck and pivot out, Castillo used an uppercut or body hook to catch him and keep him upright on the ropes. When he tried to pivot out the other way, Castillo caught him by switching to southpaw. McGregor leans so much further on his cross than boxers, it may take Mayweather a few rounds to readjust. On the other hand, one of the most likely ways Mayweather could knock out McGregor is with his check hook, as he leaves out of the corner. He did the same to Hatton, and it may be the perfect technique to use against McGregor's far-reaching cross. Connor up until this point has chosen not to protect his head with his shoulders or tuck his chin, leaving himself wide open. He may have adjusted for this fight, but old habits die hard. The next way for McGregor to catch Mayweather would be with his shuffling uppercut. McGregor often surprises his opponents by how much distance he can cover after throwing his cross. The shuffle allows him to recover and chase his opponent even after he's put himself far off balance. The main benefit of this technique is that it's something that Floyd has rarely dealt with before. If anything, these will discourage Floyd from fighting too much on his lead foot, which he likes to do to set up his right hand. Speaking of, Floyd's lead right hand could be his best chance to knock out Connor. Even if McGregor does well in early rounds, the longer the fight goes on, the more time Floyd has to figure him out. If McGregor doesn't readjust, then he will fall victim to Floyd's wide variety of precision jabs. In this scenario, McGregor is battered and cut with impaired vision and delayed reaction. Floyd will pick him apart in the center of the ring, finishing him off with his lead right. Southpaws are particularly vulnerable to this technique and McGregor has been hit with them consistently before. Mayweather is a master at throwing them, rocking his opponent, and then charging in for the kill. If something is going to really hurt McGregor in the center of the ring, it will most likely be this punch. And while this one isn't likely, the most epic way for this fight to end would be for either McGregor or Mayweather to pull counter the other's pull counter. This would require expert timing and lightning fast reflexes, and would make for one of the greatest endings to any fight, ever. While this fight may turn out to be on par with May vs. Pac, it could also, maybe, turn out to be one of the greatest fights of all time. So, it's probably okay to get excited. Nothing is certain until the bell rings this Saturday. For the Modern Martial Artist, 
This has been David Christian, wishing you happy training. Oh yeah, if you've been... like check out my patreon reddit community or my new book on how some of the greatest